Welcome to Electronic Key. In the last video, we saw various tools of Proteus over here and various selection tools like this terminal mode, subscript, component mode, selection mode, and yet we are remaining to use many of these other modes too. So today what we will be doing is we will be making a circuit and we will be checking its uh, uh, mesh current or let's say nodal voltage or something by using the probe mode and we will be also seeing what a junction dot mode is. So let's get started. Firstly um, I have opened a book from which we will be seeing a sum and we will try to simulate it here. So this is that sum which we will be trying to simulate it on Proteus. So firstly we, will, we need to have a battery of 60, uh, 56 volt and resistors. So we go here in the component mode, click P, we select battery like this and we search and this is what we will be taking. Battery and resistor, RES short form. We will be using this generic resistor so now as per the design let's start constructing the circuit firstly we'll take a battery we need resistors one more here too now as per the design we need to connect it like this so we will be rotating this so for rotating we go here in the uh, selection mode select the component right click rotate select right click rotate now this we can move up like this and We'll move, we, we will be moving this one also a bit right like this now we will be connecting we go back in the component mode we will start connecting all these resistors like this like this like this the negative terminal will be connected over here this resistor can be moved up no issues you go here in the selection Select here. move a bit this is it now we will save it once yeah and we'll change the battery voltage 56 volt okay this resistor is of 2k this of 6 this of 4 and this is of 2k same applies here 6k and 4k now firstly we will be calculating the theoretical values now if we have to find out the current through this resistor uh, what we can do we have got two options Firstly, we can apply KVL in this mesh, in this and in this mesh and we can solve the equations and find out the value. Or the other thing is if we notice it carefully, the ratio of these two resistors R2 and R5 is same as R3 and R6, 6 by 4 which is 3 by 2. So this means that this particular is a Wheatstone bridge connection. So as per the rule what we can do is we can ignore this resistor. So if we ignore this two k 2 kilo ohm resistor what we are left is a parallel connection of two resistors connected in series that is 6k plus 4k gives 10k is in parallel with 6k and 4k that is 10k so 10k and 10k in parallel gives you 5k which in series gives an equivalent resistance of 7k so with that if we find out the total current in the circuit what we get is 56 volts by 7k which is approximately 8 milliamps so now let's try uh, to simulate it using the probes so this is the probe mode here we go we select current we click here and let's simulate it 
से 0.00799 approximately equal to 8 milliamps. Let's try it for voltage. We will stop the simulation. We'll be clicking here on voltage. We'll be adding a ground terminal. We go in the terminals mode. We add ground like this over here. Let's simulate it. See 39.994 now when now this particular value can be even calculated theoretically now when we know that current in the total circuit is 8 milliamps and this is a wheatstone though this can be neglected so this particular voltage can be found out with the help of current division rule 8 milliamps as we have to find out current through this particular branch this one i'll stop the simulation this branch the formula that will be applied is 8 milliamps into the net resistance of the opposite branch this one divided by total resistance so that is 8 milliamps into 10k by 20k which gives you approximately 40 volts so here we are getting 39.994 volts so certain values do differ because of tolerances of resistor and inter internal resistance of the battery but that's fine we get almost approximately correct values so I'll stop the simulation here so now the next part which comes is the junction dot mode now let's assume that i'll remove these first. now let us assume that i need to take i need to connect this particular terminal with r6 so what i do is i connect my wire like this and i connect here with r6 now as per the diagram my this particular wire is in connection with r6 but not with r5 what if I want to even make a connection with R5? I go here in the junction dot mode. I click here. Now this particular net is connected with R5 as well as with R6. So this is how junction dot mode can be used. Now this particular wire label mode is used to uh, name a particular net. So like I go here in the wire mode. I I click here I write the name as let's say battery wire B80 underscore wire now this particular wire is named as bat, bat underscore wire that is the wire connecting battery so now if I go and change any of the wires name to bat underscore wire then that will mean that this wire is indirectly connected there let's try it well, now you can do is i can change this wire's name bat underscore wire now this wire is the same as this this is equivalent to me con uh, taking the connection and going the component mode like this simple this is the same thing both mean the same so this is it for this video in the next presentation i will be talking about uh, the generators and wave and uh, different tools that how we can see uh, the particular graphs and all these things like see here we have an oscilloscope and these debugging and voltmeters and all those things so till then do like share comment and please do subscribe my channel in case of any doubts feedback or anything do let me know in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much